Okay, so I've got the uh, Truba Combi 2E boiler in the caravan that is currently only working on gas. Uh, decided to stop working on the electric uh, for hot water and heating. Both run off the same system. Um, I've done all my tests, electric up to the um, up to the boiler, 12 volt and 240 volt. Everything checks out good there. The fuses are okay. So I'm just going to run through this uh, boiler with you now and explain what's what. For those that are venturous enough to get involved with them. Uh, so down here you've got your 240 volt supply. Okay, so now this plug here, that is where you're going to have your main supply in. You've got an earth, neutral and then live. Uh, these wires here they actually go off to the elements the heating elements and obviously they run through these various relays a bit onto the circuit board um, these cables here run up to the thermostat uh, and that's like a trip override switch which does have a reset button on it in the middle so um should you have any troubles just make sure that that hasn't just tripped for any reason but of course I would probably suggest if it has tripped, uh, then there's a bigger problem going on. Uh, this top circuit board here uh, really concentrates on the 12 volt supply. So you're going to have your 12 volt supply live and earth coming in up here. Um, you've got these two plugs here. Obviously, I've disconnected everything, but these two here, the yellow cables, they go to the temperature sensor which is mounted up by the control panel. Uh, you've got these two here, which are communication or comms uh, plugs. So I've only got one connected here, which goes straight up to the control panel. This other one, um, it actually says on there, diagnose. I thought that might have been for the, the INET box, but I guess that plugs in somewhere else but that's that's an optional box that i don't have on this um and that's the the box that connects to the internet and you can control your heating while you're away from the caravan um i don't have that on this so um having checked all the um all the obvious things i suspected which i kind of thought you know from the beginning that the elements have burnt out so um Basically, you test continuity between these, these cables. Now, let's have a look. This is where they come through. Let me just try and spin this round. So, these cables come out here, and then you've got two elements, one which comes through here, and one which comes through here. And they are connected with these cables here. Um, so, once they're disconnected from the circuit board here, you can test continuity between them. Now you've got the two stripy cables, they go to one element, and the two non stripy cables supply the other element. I actually thought it was uh, <laughs> they're in pairs, like alive and return, alive and return, but not so. They're two individual. You've got the two stripy ones which run to one of the elements, and the two plain cables which run to the other element. Um, now I did actually test for continuity while they're connected to the circuit board but I'm not sure if anything else may have been affecting that so obviously it's always best to completely isolate them from the circuit board and then test for con continuity and you're just testing the actual components. Um, the elements themselves now I've had to take the unit right out because it's mounted down there and to get them out in place would have meant cutting a big hole in the side of the caravan which obviously i'm not going to do so uh, and they're quite long elements now we can see from the back i've almost got them out now they're pretty tight in there but other than the little seven mil nuts on the end of these for the power there's nothing else holding them in there they're just a tight fit inside the fins for the um for the heater um the heater unit so I'm going to take one right out now. There you go. And that's what they look they look like. And uh, let's just put the camera up there so I can show you the continuity. Oh, that's too many multimeter. Okay, 
Okay, so uh, I'm going to put this onto a beep so you can hear it. There we go. And uh, one on there, one on there. Absolutely nothing. And I've got exactly the same on this one. Surprising that they've both gone at the same time. Or maybe one went before the other, I don't know. Yeah, so they're both dead. Um, I've ordered two new ones. Um, I guess they'll come in the week at some point. Uh, they're not the cheapest elements in the world, but I did find a company that does some aftermarket ones um, on Google. Um, and I managed to get a pair, including the VAT and delivery, for about 140 odd quid. So um, I'm going to give those a go. Supposedly they're really good quality, we'll see. Um, I mean, you know, for my money, these are gen obviously genuine Truma ones. And this is a 2017 stroke 2018 van, and they've burnt out already. So, you know, is it really worth going for genuine ones? I don't know. Um, I'll let you know uh, what happens when I get the other ones.